welcome to Los Angeles. Hey guys, I'm here, well, in front of this iconic In-N-Out burger right by LAX, and Volkswagen flew me out here for the unveiling of the brand new Tiguan. But that doesn't happen until four hours from now. So we thought, you know what? Let's see how many cool and fun, iconic LA landmarks we can hit in the next four hours. Volkswagen was kind enough to give me this, the brand new, well, kind of new, Volkswagen Atlas to drive, so we're gonna do a little bit of a vloggy style video where we're gonna to try to go to Santa Monica up here, then hit the pink wall. As I was saying, then hit the pink wall in Hollywood, go up to Pasadena for the Rose Bowl Stadium and finish in downtown LA at a famous LA landmark to have a little bit of food. So stick with us and let's see if we can see a little bit of wonderful Los Angeles in the next four hours. Matt, you ready to go? Let's, let's hit it. it. All right, well, let's test out the navigation. We only have four hours, and normally in any city, going to like four places that are probably 50 miles apart would be no problem, but this is LA after all, uh, so we shall see. All right, already got an issue with the navigation starting. Come on, there we go. All right, let's find a place. Let's see how easy this is. Santa Monica Pier, that one? All right, so we've got four hours and four really touristy places to hit, starting with Santa Monica Pier. And the reason we picked the pier is because, well, we're in LA and it's the beach and it's uh, cliche and it's, you know, this is kind of the most California thing you can do. So we're starting with that. Now, ideally, there would be probably a more appropriate car, look at my shirt, uh, for this little uh, vloggy video. But you know what? Volkswagen gave us the Atlas, so we're gonna take advantage of the Atlas. Uh, this is, believe it or not, a very much American Volkswagen. It's made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And while we're here in LA, the home of American car culture, and I'd much prefer to have like a CC, the Atlas is the steed for the day. So, well, you know, let's face it, most people still drive family haulers, and this is one of Volkswagen's best-selling cars. Uh, so let's see if we can make it to the pier, to the pink wall, over to uh, Pasadena, and then down to LA in just four hours. And uh, so far, so good. I think COVID has got traffic down to something that would resemble a normal American town and not LA. You know, my wife used to live in downtown LA and I found out the secret to avoiding traffic in LA is really to avoid any highway with a five or a 10 in it. <laughs> hey, here's a bit of trivia for all you VW fans. Did you know that Volkswagen does not sell uh, this Atlas in Europe, nor does it sell the Touareg, at least anymore in America. I think they figure that this is much more of an American car because it is a three row seven passenger family hauler. And the Touareg, let's face it, which is a little bit more premium is much more of a European car. But I'm betting that all you Europeans would probably love to get your hands on an Atlas. And I would certainly love to get my hands on the new Touareg. Dang, man, what the heck? Santa Monica is dead. Look at this, I've never seen so many uh, like empty parking spaces, closed stores. Holy cannoli, this is uh, a very rare time indeed to be here. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. This is what California, to me at least, is all about. Now, it only took us an hour to get down here, and that wasn't because of traffic. That was mainly because finding parking. They closed off the pier. You can no longer drive on it. But we've only got three hours left, so let's go hit the pink wall. God, I don't want to leave here. This is, yeah, I can see why California is a golden state. Hey, hey Roman. Wait, what are you doing? Dude, it's freaking snowing in Colorado. Do we really have to go? Yeah. Oh no, no, look, oh, God, look at this. After a winter of nothing but snowstorm, sleet, and rain, oh my God. No, no, I don't care. You go, Matt. Here, here, you, you take the keys to the Atlas, uh, go to the pink wall, the rest of it. I'm just gonna stay right here until, uh, well, until 2022. hood of the Volkswagen Atlas is, um, it's an engine. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, I was hoping to take a little souvenir back to Colorado.
All right, Matt, you got me in the car. Uh, let's go to the pink wall. Now, of course, you can't come to LA without going to Hollywood, and you can't be on social media without going to the pink wall. If you don't know what it is, well, you'll find out in a second. All right, here's your one minute Atlas car review. This is a seven seater that is a comfortable family car with that German driving dynamic and sensibility. So everything is kind of driver focused. There's really nothing that makes this car very difficult to operate. It's all relatively straightforward. Materials are okay. There's a little bit of cost cutting. The engine is powerful enough. You can get it in either this three row or you can get kind of a fastback version, which is pretty cool. It has a very good ride. The acceleration is nice and linear. The steering is direct as you would expect from an Autobahn car. And in general, uh, this competes with cars like the Telluride, which is by the way, is a very popular car. So if you want a German American built in Chattanooga that will haul you and your family, this could be a good choice for you. All right, I gotta do something influency ish. So let's try this bat. Here, come out with me. <laughs> if you freeze frame that and my stomach isn't showing, it's a good picture. And what? tour of Melrose would be complete without getting the angel wings. They're like, I think seven blocks that way. So dude, if we're doing this uh, influencer thing, we might as well uh, in for a dime, in for a dollar, huh? Shall we go do the angel wings? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think I got that wrong, Matt. All right, we are r rapidly running out of time. Time to go to the Rose Bowl because what trip to LA would be complete without going to Pasadena? At least for me, I'm a big fan of football, so uh, let's go check it out. I know that like a stadium is basically just kind of you know a big bowl uh, but uh, you know if you're a fan of college football and you love the parade uh, there's some magic here it's not the same magic you might get at Disney or Universal Studios but nevertheless there's a little bit of magic here and so to be actually here after watching it on TV on New Year's Day right for so many years it's so cool to actually uh, see it in person uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's way cool. All right, for all of you budding athletes out there, if you're looking for a great place to ride a bike or go for a run, you can actually go and do it around the stadium here. I used to come here when my wife was living here and go for my morning runs. If you hate running on treadmills and you love running outside, could do lap after lap after lap both on a bike or just by foot but you know what all this exercise talk has got me uh, hungry Matt so uh, 12 o'clock should we go get some lunch wah, 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 wah. apparently the original pantry cafe Matt is closed so just like any other perfect trip to LA we're gonna have a perfect trip without actually going to um, downtown LA. Uh, there's a lot of great restaurants down there, but that's kind of the one that's iconic. Any ideas? In and out burger? <laughs> Back at the airport? <laughs> no, 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 we can do better. Well, it seems that. Um, California is much more closed up than Colorado, so we're here at world famous, uh, I don't know if it's world famous, it was open and we could sit outside. It's Russell's in uh, Pasadena, and uh, since everything else is closed in LA, we thought we'd have a little bit of brunch here. 
This looks delicious. Now, we thought about going to Barney's Beanery, which is also a pretty famous kind of place here, but once again, it's closed. So, Russell, thank you very much. It really looks good. All right, so we started this video at the airport and we're ending it at the airport. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the new Tiguan yet because that is embargoed. In other words, Volkswagen wants to give every journalist a chance to roll out that video at the same time. So if you stay tuned, that video will be coming very soon to TFL Car, but at least you got a chance to check out what it's been like to spend a day in LA visiting some of the fun sites in less than, what was that, four hours. Wow, what a long day. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching and check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, real world, independent and honest reviews. I gotta fly back to Denver. See you guys next time, ciao. Thank you.